What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Get Beamed and today I'm bringing you a video. Uh, this video actually is going to be similar to one of the videos I did two videos ago which is an all even with a ball taper. Reason is being similar to another video is because it was a subscriber who actually reached out and got his hair cut by me. Uh, basically what he wanted is he was woofing for some time but I think his woofing actually was a little bit too long and then basically what he wanted was just an all even so he could start his wave process and uh, basically uh, ball taper the sides or whatever but I can honestly say this might be one of the if not the cleanest video that I drop and give to you guys uh, it's my bad that it's been a long time it's been like a month since I dropped the video I'm sick or whatever so I'm just trying to hurry up and push out this video I got another one coming right behind this which is a taper fro so I hope y'all like this video please like share subscribe and y'all already know it's the Bean Team So I want to kick this video off spinning my client in a full 360 man yes the client been waiting about six to eight weeks of wolfing so to start off this haircut I'm going a number one guard I got it halfway open with the grain doing consistent strokes to get this haircut as clean as possible and as you guys can see the waves that were under the wolfing process are kind of starting to pop a little bit more so um when it comes to just cutting this hair down, man, you just gotta cut it with consistent strokes. Uh, always respecting the calic. Always respect the calic. Cutting the pattern of the hair, and you will not nick the calic. It's the most important thing. To start off the ball taper, as you guys know, I got my hair tailor trimmers. I start that initial guideline, equivalent with the top of the ear, giving myself enough room. The same thing with the back, I go up a whole inch and a half maybe, and the back depends on how long uh, the actual client neck is. Uh, that's how you determine how high you want to go on the taper or how thick the hair is. This client has a thicker grade of hair as well. So with that being said, the higher you go up on the taper, the more realistic the taper look, the, the nastier the blend looks. So to kick my taper off, I got my end as masters fully closed. And then I just notch two now and I'm going up another centimeter. Every time you see me drop the clippers, I go up another notch. Here, I'm in notch three. I mean, uh, I'm just staying real consistent with my strokes. Uh, I'm finna drop it down some because I didn't knock out that guideline. So right here, I'm in the middle of notch two and one. Yep, just to knock out that little bottom guideline. Right here, I'm on notch four. And with that being said, I'm just keeping everything real consistent. Slowly down shifting, but shifting up. And now I'm on my notch five. I'm creating that last little guy line before I hop in my purple guards. Now right here, I'm on the 116th guard fully open. And I'm gonna drop it down. So I'm on notch four now. And I drop it down. I'm on notch three now. I down fade when I go up run the fade. So I'm on notch two now. Just staying real consistent. I'm on notch one now. Just so I can blend the whole bottom of the actual hair into the taper. I know it's kind of weird when you down fade, but it's just a little bit easier for me. So I just take the guard off to do a little bit of more cleanup work. I see a bunch of things I could spot mop on and clean up. Uh, so I just go back and forth between my guard or take the guard off and, you know, just get busy and clean up a lot of things. Right here, there's my 116th guard and it's fully open. A lot of people see me going right here they will believe or feel that I'm going too high in the taper which I'm not everything falls into place once it's completely done this is how you give an excellent taper to me personally tapers are what make the haircuts so right here I have my wall magic clips and that's a guard two on and that's halfway closed just so I can knock out a bunch of stuff right here I have the one and a half guard on the wall magic clips and that's fully open and you see like how the hair just perfectly lay into that so right here I just start to get busy with my wall magic clips and I went open and now I'm uh fully closed and I'm halfway now as you guys can see I'm showing you guys that I can fade with both clippers no matter what it is so like I'm just showing you guys that people be asking me should I get the masters because they cost too much or should I get the walls because they're a little cheaper it really don't matter which ones you get you can get busy with either one of them so right here I got my masters fully open with the 116 guard on always brushing that hair down I'm on notch three right now just consistently down fading like I did the other side notch two right now and as you guys see these hairs are falling into place that line is slowly but surely being knocked out as you guys can see look the line is it's gone now it's gone it's just a, a little bit more cleanup work on it but it's technically gone 
the down fading ability for me is so so right here i have my one eighth guard and it's fully open uh i'm just keeping the fading real consistent just under the bone of the head so i don't push it up too high uh which is normally why i do my tapers i just stay try to stay under the cuff of the head before i blend all of the hair completely in it's just something that i always do as you guys see that brush one fade one technique is in there the flick of the wrist showing y'all level work the comfortability level right here is an intelligent move using the corner of your blades that's one of the most important things on your clippers to be able to knock out them guidelines use the corner of them blades man right here i got my 116th guard on and that's fully open knocking down some of them hairs so i don't have to push the fade too high just give it a better uh fade and trends in and it, it actually blends way better opposed to keep trying to push it higher so right here i have the 116th guard on my wall magic clips and it's just helping me just clean up the bottom of that fade so it can be a way better fade man and just showing y'all a little level work brush one fade one just keep it a consistent motion with both hands Right here we hop into that taper with the masters fully open going a half inch man. I'm gonna show y'all how easy it is to knock these tapers out. I'm on my second notch right now. I just barely hit the line. Third notch right now. And the taper is technically there. Like it's that easy when it comes to these tapers man. You just keep it consistent. So right here I start to blend the top of the beard with the bottom of the ball taper. Just keeping it real consistent man. My client in the chair actually told me like his barber never really blends the beard in. He just do like a ball taper and leave the beard just dark and thick. And you know, there's no shots to any barbers, but that's not what we do. So right here, we got that 116th guard fully open. Just tapping into that taper just a little bit more just so we'll be able to get y'all the perfect, perfect trends in when it comes to these tapers, man. So I downshift right here. I'm on my third notch and I'm just really hitting it with the corner of my masters. Real intelligent move, a move. Uh, that they teach you um, in barber school man. and it's one of the biggest you know accessories you can use so right here I don't have a guard on I'm doing the same thing using the corner of my masters and then right here I just go in with my one eighth guard which is the number one guard and I just really just hit the bulk just so I could give it a better a better blend uh, a lot of people probably would have left it where it was at but it's one of them things with me man it's it's kind of irritating i really love seeing clean tapers like that's one of my favorite things to check out in here because how clean is the taper so i just dropped to my 116th and just hit it in the corner uh, so i just consistently brush that corner down with that 116th man and uh right here i'm doing a bunch of cleanup work some of the most important things that you could actually do when it comes to giving out tapers or wave length haircuts you always want to go over and clean up and clean up clean up blend and clean up so you see me hitting the front of the line and right here this is gonna help me when i actually do the actual front line because those hairs will be laid down i'm just giving you a better angle from the side so you can see it uh, as if you were standing in front of him to be able to see so trust me, man, when I tell y'all these tapers is tough, they are tough. So I just go in with some spritz, um, and you basically just spray the spritz in the head. Regular ISO plus medium. Do not get anything that's super hold because it clogs your clippers up. And then, as you guys know, one of my favorite tricks in the game, you just coast the waves. Whether they have waves or they don't have waves, you coast the head after you spray the spritz so you can knock all of what they call like the little prickly legs, roach legs, the loose hair whatever you want to call it wherever you from whatever they call it this is how you knock those down um, and you know sometimes you could go after the haircut and do it but I do it before and after so I go in at that neckline with the hair tailor trimmers and they are punchers hitting like Tyson in his prime I'm not even applying really no pressure to the to the lineup I'm letting them work they self those are tapping goals. I'm telling y'all right now, Head Taylor got the toughest trimmers on the block. When I say, like, my number one, like, I had somebody offer me $300 for these clippers because they didn't want to wait when, to order it from Hair Taylor. And I still told them no. Like, these clippers didn't did everything for me. Man, they're one of my favorite trimmers, hands down. Like, when I say my go-to, when I do hair shows or anything, Hair Taylor trimmers. So, to get in that front line, I'm finna show y'all how busy I get. So right here, you can see me just tapping and going, not even applying no pressure. I'm just tapping and going. That's how dope these trimmers are, man. That's how good the hair tailor 
product is, man. When I tell you that man get this thing down to a T, he get it down to a T. It's that. Like, it's for real that. As you guys see, man, there's no pressing. I'm just tapping and going, letting the clippers work. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what they teach you. That's how your haircuts come out without cuts or, or burns or scratches or whatever they want to call it. You just let the trimmers do their work. And since Head Taylor modified that blade and modified that trimmer to produce as much power as possible, all I have to do is put the trimmer in the spot. It's going to cut the hair itself. It's going to do the work itself. And that's what makes the Hair Taylor the toughest trimmer on the block. The toughest company on the block. So right here, I go in with some kiss expressions and an airbrush compressor. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to get the footage. My, I thought my cameraman caught the footage, but he didn't. Um, but it's basically uh, kiss expressions put inside of an air compressor mixed with some water, um, which is one of my favorite color enhancements because it's a semi-permanent, meaning that, you know, it stays. So right here, I go in with some kiss expressions mixed with water. And I just tapped the beard. As you guys see, my client really didn't have a like a, a real, real strong beard. But when I go in and do this, I'm going to show you why I separate myself from everybody else. Whether people like color enhancement or not, this is why I do what I do. Pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. That's what you learn here at the Beam Team channel. We apply that fucking pressure. We stepping on the next in 2017. Like... 2016 was a cool year for me because I was getting my feet wet with YouTube. But this year, like, if you're not with me, you definitely against me. And none of that matters at the end of the day because I'm stepping on next. As you guys see, man, this is pure pressure right here. Like, this is pure pressure. So I just go in with my razor, man. And I'm going to show y'all how to really clean up these beards. You don't have to have no full beard for your haircut to look nice. As you guys see, my client beard ain't even full. I just hit him with a tad bit enhancement, and I didn't even make it look fake at that. That's the best part about when you're dealing with me. All these clowns who get in the comments talking about all oh, you cheating, you using paint. It ain't paint. It's 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 up in it's up in my artistry. It's what I do. This is how I better myself. So right here, you just see me, man. I got that thing crispy, crispy. And then I just coast the waves again. Look how fire that haircut is. I'm not boosting. And look at it, man. It, sometimes it's hard to even speak on what I do because it's crazy. I'll be right there in the moment and I don't even feel it's this fire till I see it on footage. And then right here, I just get busy. Cameraman catching me in action. You see me swag surfing the waves. I'm just, man, I'm doing my thing. I'm getting busy right now. It's one of my favorite clips in there. Right here, we just ended off with that 50 millimeter lens. As y'all can see, the client already smirking because he's seen a little bit of it. But we just hit him with some oil sheen just to get that hair, that final pop, man. Go ahead, we brush that oil sheen in, man. And he together. Like all the way he's in the game. Line is so straight it can bend a ruler, man. It's stuff. Trust me, it's stuff. It's definitely that, man. Definitely that. So I'm gonna spend him one last time for y'all, man. Just to let y'all know, man, it's no games. It's approved by Get Beamed himself. Client smiling because he know what's up. Right here, my favorite part of the video. I had to slow it down because, like, this is what I stand behind the chair for. Like, the priceless smiles like this is when I know that I did my job. So, it's the beam team, man. So, I want to say thank you to all of my loyal subs. If you new, please hit that subscribe button to watch more of my dope videos man right here was a fire video with a nice fade please click on that check that video out like share subscribe let me know what you feel man it's the beam team and may god bless